That is a lovely shot. That's six. Hi everyone and welcome back to My Cricket Gear. So today was a bit of a lazy Saturday. Uh, it was raining outside, didn't really have much to do. So I thought, yeah, why not go through eBay and see what's going on there. So every now and then I do go on there. I'm, I'm not on there religiously, but um, sometimes you can find uh, interesting products. So today I was very lucky to find these uh, sort of flight cases that have been made up. Someone had um, got a whole bunch made but um, had too many, so I decided to get rid of these three. I thought, oh, I'd love to have three, so I tried to get three, but by the time I'd got round to sort of making an offer for one, um, uh, one had been sold, so there were two left, so I just, for whatever reason, decided to take two, so I'm now um, almost the proud owner of two uh, flight cases. I just have to wait for them to arrive. I'm not actually sure what I'm going to do with them, but they look cool, so yeah, why not? Anyway, whilst browsing around on um, on eBay, I came across this uh, Aaron Finch Max bat. So um, yeah, I actually had um, an Aaron Finch Players Edition from India uh, that I'd got, um, but that has now been passed on from my event onto uh, another um, person who now owns it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I was interested to have a look at this one anyway. Um, and yeah, it just didn't look right to me. So I thought I'd do this video just to sort of go through uh, and help anybody that's, you know, that does shop on eBay and isn't sure whether, um, you know, if they're buying a Grey Nichols bat or even if they're interested in this particular one, how to work out whether it's a legit one or not. It is important to do your research. Um, I think there are a lot of bats on eBay that don't look legit. Uh, I've just picked out this random one. Uh, obviously, you can see the seller on there, and they have quite a lot of feedback, and it seems like they've sold quite a few MRF bats, so I'm not sure what it says when I think this one's a fake, um, and I'll explain why. I don't even think I know for a fact that that is a fake. There is no way um, that that is a real Great Nichols bat, but I will um, explain why as we uh, go through it now. So the Max Bat is actually a new model uh, in the UK, but it's been around for a while in Australia. So this would have been uh, last season's colours in green. This season, um, the colours in Australia are now blue. So if they continue with the Max next year in the UK, then they should be blue stickered as well. Um, so obviously you can see um, this. This is the you know the press photos um, from uh, Grey Nichols. Um, really lovely looking bat, uh, and you can see it in all its glory here. Uh, if I now show you some of the photos um, that were on the um, eBay post, uh, you can have a look through. So you can see, um, I've put them sideways just because it fills the screen a bit better for you to have a look at. Um, yeah, the length of the face looks pretty clean, looks pretty nice. And then you've got another photo which shows the, um, the back of the bat. Um, and then another one of the stickers on the face. And then another photo which shows the side-on profile, which obviously is an important one. People like to look at the bats in that angle. And then there's sort of a half, a 45-degree angle from sort of back and side. And then the last one has a photo of the handle. Okay, if we cycle back through the photos and go into more detail. So looking at this first photo, there's a white toe guard on the bat. Um, I've never seen that on a Grey Nichols bat. Um, in the UK, the Max comes with a black toe guard, which has Grey Nichols written on it. Uh, and in Australia, for a Players Edition bat, they wouldn't have a toe guard uh, on them. So um, I'm not sure why there's one on there. So that's my first alarm bell. So if we have a look at the second photo, the clear giveaway here is the sticker at the bottom. Um, this sticker would appear on the face of the bat and not the uh, back of the bat at the toe. Um, showing you an example, the press photo that I had up earlier on. That's for the UK Max version. I can tell because there's a, a lot of concaving on that bat, which you I don't think you find any on the Players Edition and you'd find, I guess, hardly any on the lower grade ones um, from Australia. Um, 
and at the bottom it says handcrafted uh, but it also says the Mac sticker there if you get the one from Australia it just says Max on it so that's a clear difference but if you look at more detail at that actual sticker it's not easy to see because the resolution is very low but it actually says five star on it which is a different grade so on the front they've got players edition and on the back they've got five star so this tells me they may have got their hands on the legitimate stickers um, because normally when you get an, a legitimate set it will have um, all the stickers for the side, the front and the back and then for the different grades they will include all the grades on the sticker sheet so you'll have a player's edition, a five star, you know like a, a four star, you know it's so like a grade one, two, three, four, it'll have all the stickers in that set so it looks like they've taken one of those stickers and just slapped it at the back at the toe um, so another indication to me uh, that this is not a uh, legitimate bat Okay, so next photo, uh, not so easy to tell um, with this one. Um, it doesn't really help that the resolution of the photo is low um, as well. But if you have a look around the shoulder area, you'll see the shoulder sculpting. There basically isn't any, whereas you get it on this Australian one that I have uh, in the photo above. Also, you'll notice that that great red grey nickels sticker uh, runs into the area that's sculpted there whereas it stops flat and short of the actual grip um, on the fake one um, so that's one of the telltale signs another one to look for is whether the grey nickels uh, logo is actually uh, embossed or not hard to tell from this photo because of the low resolution but one thing that i've noticed on both the grey nickels that i have both australian and uk is you get the registered trademark um, on the actual checkered pattern which i don't see uh, on this one that's listed on ebay Okay, so for the next two photos, um, we'll sort of show them kind of together. Um, you can see that the main thing that stands out is the stamping on the edge. So the, from what I can tell on this particular bat, it looks a lot bigger than the stamping on any of the other grey nickels that I've had um, from India, from the UK uh, and Australian markets. So um, there seems to be very standardised. Uh, that one in the photo looks very different and a lot bigger. Uh, another difference that you'll see um, from them is that if you get the um, stamping for the UK and Australian markets, it's actually filled in in black. Uh, whereas the one you see here is it looks like it's it's just had the, the stamping done on it so it's been burnt in but they haven't actually colored it in uh, and if you get the ones from India as you can see here they're colored in red so that's normally an indicator as to whether it's a Australia UK market bat or whether it's uh, an Indian market bat is from the color that they actually put um, in that stamping on the edge of the bat but Certainly for this one that's on eBay, it looks a lot bigger and it doesn't seem to have any colour in it because that colour just looks like um, when it's been burnt and they haven't filled it in with a colour. So that's another sign for me that, um, yeah, it's not a legit bat. Okay, so on to the last image. Um, for people that, I guess, uh, bat makers and people who know a lot about bats and how we know who makes the bat or um, gives us sort of a, a clear indication from where a bat has come from is normally in the handles. So it's an area that we do pay a particular attention to and we like to photo those a lot and uh, look at them. So if we have a look at this particular handle, we'll start off with the grip itself. Um, for the Max Bat, now it's listed as a brand new bat, so it shouldn't have a white um, chevron grip like this, even though it does have a Grey Nichols branding on it. Um, but it seems to be quite common for a lot of fakes to be able to get the branding correct uh, for the actual grips. Um, but in terms of what grip they've chosen, uh, if it was the UK market, it should be a zigzag grip that they would use. So I've got a photo here to show you what the zigzag looks like on my Oblivion Stealth. Um, and if it was the Australian market, then it's that sort of crisscross pattern. Um, and it should be a very, very thin latexy grip, uh, as you'll see, like on my Chris Lynn bat. Um, so yeah, in terms of grip, that doesn't match up, especially when this is a new bat. So I suppose they could say, oh, they swapped it out for a different grip or something. Um, but one thing they wouldn't be able to change is the handle. So Grey Nichols um, handles all have um, three 
thin rubber, black rubber inserts in them. Uh, and looking at this photo, it looks like those are three cork inserts. So I, I can't see because the resolution isn't great, but I can see two different tones on the actual inserts themselves. So that looks like cork to me. Plus the fact that it has um, a thick... Um, insert in the middle of the three uh, which grey nickels don't do it's three even very small ones that they put in there so that for me clear sign that that is not a grey nickels handle which means it's not a grey nickels bat there'll also be markings on the top of the handle to tell you um, that it's a legitimate grey nickels bat uh, if it's one from India then it will have SH a short handle stamped on it uh, or other sizing if it's a smaller bat um, if it's one from Australia, it'll actually have the Australian flag um, with a sticker uh, on the top. And if it's one for the UK market, then it would have a Union Jack on the top. So the fact this one doesn't have anything on the top indicates to me um, that, again, it's not a legitimate bat from Grey Nichols. So if you were not convinced after all my detailed explanations as to the authenticity or lack of authenticity of this bat, uh, then let me leave you with these uh, two points that should definitively tell you that this bat um, wasn't made by Grey Nichols. The first one is something that I left off in the first photo. If you look at the toe guard itself, let's zoom in and see what it looks like, uh, you will actually see it doesn't say Grey Nichols, it says Grey's nickels uh, and i've seen that a few time on uh, times on fake bats um so yeah the fact that they can't actually spell gray nickels correctly is kind of laughable and if that doesn't convince you then perhaps this will as you can see aaron finch uh, sporting the new stickers on the max bat when he signed officially for Grey Nichols, so when the green stickers were out, he wasn't even a Grey Nichols uh, sponsored player. So, um, yeah, there you have it. I don't think this bat is legit. Uh, the seller may think otherwise. Um, I do think you can find really good deals on eBay. So it is worth rummaging around and hunting through. Um, but you should take your time, check the details, really pay attention to the photos um, and just make sure everything matches up with what the seller has described. I'm kind of concerned with this seller because he seems to sell quite a lot of bats and he seems to have sold quite a few MRFs recently. Um, I had a story from one bat maker that I know um, who a customer had paid a lot of money for their MRF bat and it was super grainy and it had gone in for a refurb and when they went to sand the face down I think it went from like 15 grains down to 4 grains uh, it actually had a grain sheet on the front and obviously wasn't a legitimate uh, MRF um, bat so just be super careful um, but yeah enjoy the shopping which I think a lot of us may be doing online with the lockdown looming Anyway, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you have any comments uh, or any um, more points that you could see in the video that I didn't notice, then yeah, feel free to let me know. Um, otherwise, uh, look out for some more videos soon. Take care, guys.